So to demonstrate the idea of resiliency, here I have a small demo for you. And this is a really simple demo. Uh, you see there is a, an API front end, there's a task, there's a, a, a cache, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what it matters here is that I have a, a couple of, of API, one, uh, one which is uh, allow me to get the health of a system. And you see my system is comprised of a database, of a, of a slave, of some Redis cluster to do some caching. There's a, a task handler as well. And what I can do here is, for example, post uh, some data into the system. Here I'm posting a product uh, called uh, Samsung TV Multicolor uh, with the price. And see, this is just to demo uh, for you, right? So you see here I get a product ID. And this product ID actually uh, then is accessible directly in the database. So this is then my uh, data in the database. And this is uh, the same data uh, with in the read replica. And what is interesting with resiliency is you would think that if I kill the database or the master database, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to uh, uh, use the uh, system. But here you see I'm going to take uh, the Docker container, which uh, contains the master database, and I'm going to stop it. Right? Uh, so you see, I'm going to stop stop that Docker container. It takes a couple of seconds, and then once the uh, Docker container is stopped, well, I don't have any more database. All right? So you see here, my database is not accessible. So a resilient system, you can still uh, uh, take the API and do the health check. And you see here, my system is going to be without database. But then if I take the product ID from the database, and then I try to access it. So I do a product here. Product. Well, I can still access the database. Uh, and this is what exactly resiliency means: is we have a master database going, uh, having issues of being down, and we can still degrade the application and still read data. And this is exactly the principle of resiliency 